Hello, this is Ritesh Malik. I'm the founder of Innovate Coworking. And hello, this is Mritu Bhandari, editor special projects at Network 18. You're catching this special conversation on money control in which we talk to newsmakers about business and life in the times of dealing with a global pandemic. Ritesh, thanks very much for joining us today. I want to put the focus very squarely on co-working spaces today. An idea whose time had come in India, an idea that had really worked very well for the last couple of years. But uh, as we all deal with this global pandemic, what's business looking like for you at this point in time? So I, I think definitely uh, no one in their right mind had, had thought about COVID-19 when they were making their annualized operating plans back in December 2019. And, and I think this is an unprecedented global crisis and, and, and very few businesses is, have been spared by, 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 by the kind of impact that COVID has got on all of us. But that being said, I, I think these are testing times for co-working. And, 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 but at the same time, I believe for us right now as a community, we believe that all of us, be it other competitors, as I believe that all of us at this point in time need to just focus on making sure that we prioritize safety, uh, sanitization, and make sure that the well-being of, of all our employees, our, our customers, are above any fiduciary decisions that we make. Right, absolutely. Well said on that. Uh, sanitation, hygiene, staying indoors, all of that very important at this point in time. But how does that impact a business like yours that thrives on collaboration? Also, in this yeah. time, we are all exploring a lot of these virtual collaboration tools, which might become the new normal post COVID-19. Are you worried that the market is going to shrink for co-working spaces? So I believe that and this is a very temporary phenomenon and we are very hopeful that this will be a very a quick uh, V-shaped uh, curve that we will see a massive rebound post, post the, 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 maybe post a couple of weeks from the lockdown. The, the reason being that, that I personally believe that work from home cannot be scaled. The work from home is a great addition to a normal working lifestyle. Maybe out of five or six working days, you can work from home or maybe maybe once or twice, but we have seen that work from home is not scalable because people need to, as, as human beings, we are very social. We really need to go out, meet other people and stay away from home to build our skills and meet other people. So I believe that and this is a very temporary phenomenon. Unnecessary redundant travel, unnecessary redundant meetings would be cut short because we've seen that productivity has not hit to the tune that it should have with platforms like zoom with platforms like a google hangouts we've seen that a lot of what could have been done in physical meetings is being done even on a zoom call so i believe that there will be a permanent shift in, in certain aspects of how humans lead especially on the productivity side but but that being said i think in, in my personal opinion adoption of co-working spaces will increase on a whole in the coming four to five months Right. But as far as footfall in your business is concerned, have you seen any dip in footfall, any dip in the community? Oh, yes. yes. So, so this, is a, this is a phase of, of, of massive insecurity. You can call this is a, a mass scale hysteria. People have not been able to come out of the fact that, and, and, it, and it's not only the, 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 the employees, it's the fact that their families do not want them to be, on, to, to be in offices. And, and that's very well understood. And, and at this point in time, even before the lockdown, we had seen this coming in and impacting the business in terms of the amount of people who were coming to our co-working spaces for us right now what how, how we have structured this panic is is we, we, we call this the ows uh, strategy so o stands for over communication at this point in time when there's mass hysteria we want to make sure that we over communicate with our customers we over communicate with our, our colleagues our employees our frontline housekeeping staff and our security staff we believe that the more we communicate the more oh, they, they, they feel safe about their jobs they, they, they feel safe about their their offices the moment the lockdown goes down they should feel safe about the fact that they will have a business continuity with us is there a change in subscription plans that you're offering to consumers a lot of them might not want annual plans or say even quarterly yeah. plans at this point in time and might want a more flexible pay as you go sort of offering so has there been a change conscious change towards that 
so 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 when it comes to uh, us the, the 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 only silver lining in all of this is the fact that we have a lot of enterprise customers who have a lot of uh, deep pocketed cash uh, cash reserves a lot of large companies work out of our co-working spaces and 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 and, and because we sign in uh, longer term leases with them we haven't seen a lot of impact on our, our recurring in, uh, on, on the fact that not a lot of these large enterprise customers has, have given us, us notices, but at the same time, in, uh, we, we empathize with, with, with early stage entrepreneurs and freelancers, and we understand the fact that they, a, uh, they, they, they will be, they, 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 they would need to renegotiate their contracts, and 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 case by case, we are are understanding the impact on the business. We have not been able to come to a conclusion so far, but I believe that at, until the lockdown, it will be very difficult to actually understand what sort of of impact it has done to the to to, to the business. But as 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 far it, as it is concerned for now, I, I think we are, we we are doing okay. Right and. Every cloud has a silver lining and perhaps the silver lining with this particular pandemic has been the whole sea of humanity coming together to battle this together, showing the strength of unity here. And the startup ecosystem of India is no different. Uh, uh, there is an action plan in place. There is a fund of about 100 crore rupees to support innovations that can help this fight against COVID-19. What are some of the best innovations you've seen so far that deserve to be scaled up? I know you're a contributor to that fund. So, so my lab has been one which we, all, all the donors really like. And we are also talking to a lot of different uh, entrepreneurs who have built amazing in, uh, uh, platforms to, to help fight COVID. Uh, for example, we, we just had a conversation with a, a, a mental well-being platform called I Will. I think, Mridu, three things will happen. The first fundamental permanent change will be that companies will no longer only and only focus on growth and scale, but they will focus on profit. But at the same time, they will also focus on the environment. With all of this, we've realized that human beings are a... Uh, I, 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 I hate to say this, but I believe that human beings are a big pain to the environment and, and businesses contribute a majority of it. it. If you talk about businesses, employees travel because of which more pollution comes in. I, I think environment will be a, a permanent shift in people's mind. Second would be uh, mental well-being. With all of this happening, people have, have had a sense of insecurity in their lifetimes. I, I think the last large-scale pandemic that struck us was in 1918. That was the Spanish flu. Before that, it was the cholera again 100 years, uh, 200 years back. And before that, it was the plague 300 years back. With all these pandemics, we've seen significant shifts in, in, in human race. And I think for, for now, people will be focusing. We are one of the largest depressed populations in the world. And I think mental well-being will become, spending more time with their families, we will, will become an important attribute to people's success. So, so I think in this, this particular crisis will leave a lot of positive on, on human race. As a qualified doctor, I know that you're a very positive person, but uh, through this whole lockdown and stay-at-home phase, what are some of the things that you've discovered about yourself and about running business from home? So uh, a couple of things. One, I believe that at, um, uh, I do not need to be that busy. I do not do so much of work that it uh, takes my time. And I realize that with this lockdown, um, if I plan things well, I can really save a lot of time. In uh, Secondly, I believe that uh, with this lockdown, I've realized the importance of family. By the end of the day, uh, good friends and amazing family is all what that matters. Absolutely. That's true uh, for sure. Well, thank you so much, Ritesh, for joining us on this very special webcast and podcast series. And uh, here's hoping all of us come out safe on the other side of yes. the pandemic. Well, with that, it's a wrap of this special conversation on money control. I'll be back next time with another newsmaker talking about life and business in the times of dealing with COVID-19 across the world. Thanks very much for joining us today. Stay indoors. Stay safe. Bye-bye.